Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I'm here to explain to you. I have a few explanations on how to pick up bad energies and bad spirits that's that's geared towards you. You know what I'm saying? Not just not just picking up not just picking up a bad spirit or a pat or a bad vibe of someone in general. No, picking up bad spirits or bad vibes towards you. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is gonna get a little right here. Now I don't wanna do this for too long because I got I got a lot of things I gotta do at the moment. So this is gonna be just a quick rundown real quick so we can get back to some regular shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, how to know when someone is uh, spiritually or emotionally attacking you, a lot of times it's not even from your enemies. It's, a lot of times it's not even from people you already naturally opposed or ha already have a disagreement with in the, out in the open. And this is why a lot of times they say a lot of times your enemies could be your closest friends. This is why a lot of times they say um, you always know where your enemies stand faster than the ones who are closer to you. Because here's the thing. A person who's close to you are able to connect or able to be used as vessels from other beings to use whatever energies. Now, don't think. Now, look, people might think, like, how important am I, am I like, to be getting used? I ain't nobody to be getting used. Look, that's the people these beings out here want to use because you are a source of energy. You are like a battery. So whatever uh, whatever traits that you have can be utilized. And if you're a person who don't know thyself, then your, your traits can be utilized by any uh, vessel for the, the sake of them wanting to experience. So when it comes to other people and dealing with other people and picking up vibes and certain uh, certain signals and things of that that nature geared towards you here's a few techniques that you can kind of apply and put this into practice to start seeing because a lot of times look we have to understand things are not far-fetched we're doing everything every day it's just the information that we get ab what we get about what we're doing and rituals and things that we're doing every day the information that we get about that we get from it is diverting us and making us do it in those ways under those programs and that's giving energy to whatever being created that way of looking at these certain procedures but we're all just for the sake of just for the uh, sake of argument you look at things like the third eye and things like the chakras and they will teach you you got all these videos out here trying to teach you how to open your third eye then you have all these uh, videos out here trying to teach you how your third eye is calcified and how uh, it's been closed and how you really need to open it you got all these videos giving you all these ridiculous methods of how to um, raise your kundalini and, and activate all your chakras and things like that when I'm telling you as Archangel Uriel as the day you was born you're already born with an activated third eye you're already born with all chakras lit you're already born with a risen kudalini this is why when you as an adult could stand in the middle of the street in the middle of the night and a baby in a stroller could stand in the middle of the middle in the middle of the street at the middle of the night and you are able to get hit and have less people care than the actual baby who may get hit or may have some type of energy around it that somehow some way the car can see the the baby and will not hit the baby and the baby won't have no care in the world or what it's actually doing as an adult you're supposed to already have the mind frame of you know you're not supposed to be walking in the middle of the street so you're already diluted with a bunch of programs being in this reality so if you was to do that and get hit the, the care for you won't be that extensive people are related to you being retarded or being mentally challenged or you not caring about life but as a kid as a baby it holds another e energy and you can leave it to some sim simplistic like oh it's a baby that's why but that's not necessarily it it's a still an energy a aura a, a non-caring aura that just it alone allows a allows just the universe to shape and form around it instead of it shaping and forming around within the reality it's in. <clears throat> now, by me saying that, when we want to go talk about energies that's being predicated towards you and things of that nature and how to pick up uh, beings, a lot of times it's going to come through people who are close to you or people who can apply themselves with you because here, check this out, a lot of times how a person could connect has, has to do with something that has to do with the water or the fluid so a lot of times that's going to deal with the moon and the soul so that's going to be a connection so a lot of times it could be through blood which is family, it could be through uh, 
water or the fluid or your surroundings, which is your <clears throat> your area, neighbors <clears throat> that you may connect to in any kind of way. Or it could be someone, something or someone you're emotionally connected to or someone that you feel connected to. So off the bat, right here, this is how the soul gets involved or someone who can affect you emotionally or either someone that a vessel or a being could work through a vessel that can come through one of your houses as a stranger but have access to one of your houses like your 11th house or something like that and be able to agitate you like that or so that's through the soul you know what I'm saying so this is how you know that your enemies is closer than you than you do you know your enemies are not someone that you're not emotionally uh, connected to now if you have an enemy that you have an emotional feeling about that you can't let go then yes that is a form of an enemy or that is a form of um, of witchcraft that is a form of voodoo you know what I'm saying holding grudges and coming up with fears of realities within your mind and, 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 and holding a strong emotional weight to whatever you're holding on and creating in your mind about this individual um, that is that's the pre uh, that's the priest the preconditions of actually doing voodoo or things of that nature now the ideas is the, the creative ideas that you come up with in your head before you gain the emotional feelings behind like for an example if I come up with a creative idea about my enemy that I want him to get or him or her to get hit by a car right then I start to put the emotions and feelings on how I will feel if they got hit by a car and the more and more I suppress that and experience that and put that into action every day and, and start to act on these type of things I can will that into an existence and depending on how how strong of a person I am uh, with with any voodoo or or any witchcraft or stuff like that, it depends on time because time is is correlates with um, experience. So if time correlates with experience, you know to experience something, you need to take a lot of time with it. So the more and more time, or there's months, years, or something like that, the stronger the orb will be, and the more effective the density of whatever comes into reality will be. Now, when we talk about the actual spirit. Now the spirit is the idea, it's the thought. So now, this is a test that you can put into to know if you have negative energy towards a certain individual. Now a person could have could have you in their best interest, but they could still have negative ideas about you, negative spirits thrown, or if they don't know thyself, beings could utilize them, could can utilize them for certain situations, and um and certain can utilize them for certain situations. And, and certain conversations with you or stuff like that in order to attack you into whatever to get whatever energy that this being wanted to get from you esoterically you know what I'm saying but for the most part um, if this person know thyself then you know that they could be doing it intentionally like I said a lot of times I'll, I don't even like to give humans the benefit of the doubt I, I, I look at the energy being that's that's controlling this vessel in front of me a lot of times I don't even look at that I don't even blame the actual person if this person pissed me off or even made me happy to a certain degree I look at the energy of the aura and the being that's controlling them especially if I know this a person that I don't know thyself but if it's a person that that's aware or been around me long enough to know how I think and start to use certain, certain ideas that I use and certain fears of realities of their life then a lot of times I know what they're using against me that's my own science or a lot of times I know what they may be doing purposely so a lot of times you have to watch who you have in your surroundings because you know the things that you are a part of and people you are are attached to you know what I'm saying they like you are who you surround yourself with so you know what I'm saying if you are who you surround yourself with at the same time you're going to absorb some of the same traits some of the same characteristics see some of the things the same way so if you're enlightened and you're around somebody who ain't enlightened and they're starting to feed off your energy and to a certain degree a lot of times some of these people still don't know that know thyself so they're being utilized as other as as beings they're being utilized as vessels in order to drain your energy and they start using your science against you and then you'll be wondering like is this person doing me against me so you have to be aware of that and a lot of times this is another way how you can get attacked because it comes through close people people who are experienced have enough experience and time around you to know how to actually do these things and if it's, especially if it's a person who don't know thyself, who have the time and experience around you, beings come through and get all kind of energies off you. Now let's 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 get into the, the meat and bones of the situation. Now this is how you actually know if it's a negative energy being predicated towards you. Now if you're talking to a friend, 
family relative or whoever you're talking to right and um so you could be talking about many things right but say a situation or, or a conversation come up that uh you automatically don't want to talk about like for some reason you don't want to talk about now everything have to be whatever idea or whatever conversation or words is being uh exchanged a lot of times is going to gain our emotions and feeling behind it now that emotion and feeling behind it is 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 experiencing the spirit which is the word which is the space which is the the conversation the idea the words that's being exchanged that's the spirits now what's it that's information light sound so it's it's carrying all the baggage of whatever it was coming out from or wherever it was coming from so when when you receive the information the light the sound the replicas you know what i'm saying when you receive that your it, it goes inside you uh, your conscious awareness now you're sub, now in your subconscious now you're vibing with the spirit or the energy you just received and once you start to vibe with it it start to correlate to an actual feeling and that feeling has to have an emotional stance now the feeling that you get you pick that up from anywhere you can pick that up from a person place or thing but the, the emotional stance about it is what you have is what caught the feeling and what's going to process the feeling so your emotional stance depend on your emotional stability and if you want to go down a little deeper than that this is like knowing your moon sign or knowing how you emotionally connect to things and stuff like that but when you process information then it goes in. It goes in you. So what's in? What's in you? Your soul. So now it goes into your vibe. Now you start to vibe with it. Now you start to see if it's, if it's a vibe you correlate with or not. This is when you start to give it what kind of feeling it is. Then once you start to see what kind of feeling it is, it's getting processed to what kind of emotional stance you have about it. Now, if this information that a person or whatever conversation that start, if it strike you emotionally and make you feel off the back negative or off the back make you feel like you don't want to uh, talk about it or off the back you start to feel uncomfortable now it could be any situation I mean it could be a situation where you the person you talking to you don't even have to look at them as whatever they're saying negative it's just whatever like for an example <clears throat> you could uh you could be all right I'm gonna give you a prime example of what I'm talking about right and this is this is gonna close my case Say, uh, say you had two cameras, right? Say you had two cameras, right? You got a best friend, right? Now, you got, you got a best friend and two associates, right? Now, you would never think your best friend would take, uh, steal your camera, but these two associates that you just met, the way they act about a camera, you will off the back think about them as taking the camera, right? So you talk to your best friend about everything, right? So now, you're not even thinking in your mind that your best friend took the camera, right? So off the bat, one of your cameras get took, right? Now, since one of your cameras get took, you off the bat thinking about the two associates, right? But you're not, you're not thinking it's, it's your best friend. You, you're thinking about having conversations about this with your best friend, but it just haven't even crossed your mind yet to even have it yet, right? Your best friend comes over, right? Your best friend brings it up first. May bring up something like that. Bring bring up something like, you know what? I think I think it's them. I think it's them. Uh, the two associate dudes that took your camera. Now remind you, you could not ever be thinking about your best friend taking a camera, right? Now, if your best friend now, if if you, your best friend could blatantly come to you like this, I think it was those uh, two associates. Like blatantly could be coming to you like trying to help you out, right? If, if once you receive this information from your best friend, right? If you start to strike, if now look, if you have to know thyself to to be because you know you can't trust nobody, right? So when you have a best friend, a lot of times it's easy to just to suppress feelings. You may have somebody you deal with every day, and you may feel funny about what they do. But since you deal with them every day, and this is who you deal with, it's like you set aside a lot of stuff for the sake of this who you deal with. But we're in a new age right now, and this is one of the reasons. I'm about to break this down. Now, the moment your friend say something like your best friend say something, and you're not even thinking like they stole it, but as soon as they say something like I think the other two associates for that. Okay, as soon as you receive that information from them, right? If it strike you and make you feel like. I don't feel comfortable with talking about this right now or 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 make you feel like damn I'm not quite I don't quite want to talk about this right now or or just make you feel like 
you just gonna you just want to say something real quick, but you don't want to talk about it right now. Like it may give you like a negative feel. Think about that. Don't set aside and keep going into the same mind of, oh, this is my best friend. I know they wouldn't do it anyway, so let me elaborate. Yeah, this person is right. They maybe is right. Are you sitting back still with a suspicious eye, not towards your best friend, but just having a suspicious eye in general because your camera just got took. So you're still sitting back with a suspicious eye, but you, but you still, your friend trying to elaborate with you, your best friend, but you picking up uh, negative emotions and feelings like you don't even want to really talk about it at the time. Don't... <coughs> Don't suppress that and, and override that and start to communicate that with your friend. No, sit and think about that. It's a reason that emotion and feeling strike you about that, strike you like that. Otherwise, when that person said something, it would have strike you in. Yeah, you're right. It would have made you want to elaborate more. But anytime, and, and you know, it could be any situation. If it's, it could be like, like I said, I try to make it as positive as possible. This person came in a positive way. This this person came in a way of trying to act like it's helping you find your camera so but if you pick up it doesn't matter how they come at you if you pick up the like feeling of not wanting to talk about it at the time or not wanting to fully express it and just want to get over at the time with that specific person you're interacting with it's a reason for that and the spirit never lies so your physical with things that you're consciously aware of may not quite understand your soul is experiencing what it don't quite understand and your spirit understands the whole surrounding it's just connecting the, t the connecting the understanding it and that's under knowing how to blend your right and left brain which is what you're consciously aware of and what you're subconsciously aware of but what happens here is this is what happens i guarantee the reason you picked up that emotion and feeling at the time you was asked that from your best friend because i guarantee if your best friend wasn't the one who stole it they either know someone who st know about how it got stole or has something to do with it getting stole, or actually the best friend stole it themselves. Because when when the inf you your what you're consciously aware of may not have been able to physically see it. Your subconscious, how you feel, may not have been able to throw that throw that emotional weight onto your best friend because you feel like, AKA feel like this your best friend and your emotional stance is your best friend wouldn't do something like this and the two associates would first, but. The, the spirit that striked you when you received the information from your best friend went into you, went into in your vibrations, your soul. Once it resonated and figured out what kind of feeling it was, your emotional stance on it came out in a way. If it came out in a way that you didn't really want to talk about it or express it in a way, then that's for a reason. It tainted your soul. So that means that the, the the energy that mean the energy that was in the information. Wherever that information came, if it came from a person, place, or thing, in this case it came from a person. When that information, when your best friend told you and you received that light and information, it doesn't matter what your best friend was telling you, whether it was positive, negative. If it's carrying the baggage and the experience and if it's carrying the baggage and the experience and time and the enlightenment of knowing something about the situation or being in the situation or talking about the situation behind your back in any type of way when you you're going to receive that whether you know how to consciously or subconsciously complete your right and left brain or in whether you're a dumbass or not your spirit is always going to pick it up so knowing thyself help you decipher these things but your spirit is always going to pick it up and that's why I strike you like that you know what I'm saying so I let I was I'm saying that so you don't repress these type of moments because these type of moments could actually save your life and actually help you in moments that you thought you was getting over when someone was actually getting over you now also we could break this down into many situations because when we talk about it, it could be all right someone this is how you know when someone is carrying the energy and the spirits of, of someone close to you talking behind your back like because look <coughs> you could be conversating with somebody <coughs> all day, right? <coughs> now, if they, got a <coughs> if they got a lot of ideas and a lot of thought forms and they got a lot of conversation to give about a, about somebody else or right there, you already know that they carry in the spirit, the spirit of talking about someone else. So off the back, that, that should give you the idea that they have no problem with talking about you. 
But that doesn't prove the fact if they're talking about you or not. That just proves the fact that they're that, that kind of person. Now, to receive the energy and pinpoint on what aspects that they may be uh, talking about you with negative energies around you. Okay, now look, if you're having conversations with this actual person, right? And then say they say, say they say something, right? And it strike you in a way to take offense. It could be amongst anything, something that they feel like they do that you don't do or whatever like that. Say you, it strike you to take offense, but the way they worded it and the way it was, was in, like in a left brain, logical, rational type of way. It makes no sense to take offense to it, right? But your emotions and feelings kind of feel a way about it, right? It never lies. So the spiritual information you receive from the sound and the light coming from that person when it when you received it when it went into your body you picked up all the baggage that was in that information which is light and sound right so your feelings is your soul always is going to experience so you, you when you experience the feelings and emotions of things you won't even be able to remember anything if you're not emotionally connected to it if it's something that went in one ear and not the other you're not going to be able to remember it because it didn't it didn't you didn't attach any emotion to feeling to it or had no emotional stance on it so water is a big existence in this reality that is the cause of shaping and everything so when you pick up the light and the vibration and the, and the source and the, and the sound which is the words from whatever this person is saying whether they're talking about you or not when, when it goes into you and go into your vibration how, how you feel about that is important because that's carrying the baggage of how they've been enlightened about coming to the conclusion of coming to that creative whatever wordage or whatever sounds and vibrations that they gave you, which is a conversation. So when someone develop a conversation to give you and it strike you in a way, an emotional feeling, that's important because that's the baggage is carrying. So say even if a person is saying something like something they may do that you may not do and you can't rationally it doesn't make sense to take offense to it rationally, but you know you're, you feel a certain way about it, then the baggage that you received from that information, nine times out of ten, that person may have been talking about you to others about a, about similar circumstances that's tied to that information. String, that frequency. You see what I'm saying? Of wording, that frequency of thought process, that frequency of idea, that frequency of spirit, wherever that spirit came from and gave them the idea to, to process and think of things that way. You see what I'm saying? So never doubt your emotions and feelings. Now it's just about processing it and knowing what actually is worth taking into consideration of what kind of spirits a person throwing at you and what kind of to what kind of spirits is being thrown at you that you can kind of relax on and what's not too serious and what's helpful and what's not helpful. Now a lot of times it's going to get tricky when you're dealing with a lot of people who don't know themselves. But for look for the most part. For the most part, when you're dealing with when you when you're picking up and receiving energy and information, kind of keep that in mind because that's how you're gonna know who's really here for you, who ain't. Because if that's the case, this is how you put it in practice: count how many emotions, uh, no, count how many feelings that strike you when you're having conversations. Like for an example, each per each person you deal with in your life, right? Start to like keep a note a notebook or something like that. And I'm gonna start this shit too because I'm coming up with this shit right now. Keep a notebook. Write down each name of each person in, in this notebook. Write down each name. Now, every now when you deal with these people each day, right, throughout all the conversations that you have with these or all the interactions or time and experience you have with this person, write down every time whatever they said or did made you feel negatively or emotionally uh, disconnected with them or or distaste or emotional distaste like how I was just explaining so write down every time so if, like say you had like a conversation you have a, a multiple conversations with a person throughout the day if, 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 if three conversations out of all the conversations throughout the day struck you in a way that made you feel like this is something I don't really want to talk about why this person talk about this or uh, Damn, it's just like anytime that make you feel certain like something like that and something that make you want to ring around or change the subject or something like that, count how many times. So if it was three times that that person did it that day or four times or five times and do that with everybody you interact with. And therefore, you're gonna what you're doing is you're counting 
how many negative spirits you got attacking you. So a lot of times, if you're highly consciously aware, then a lot of times you, you, you ain't got to start at the Pacific people. You can start at the Pacific spirits. So one person may be carrying three different spirits that's attacking you. This person may be carrying four different spirits. Because say the negative feeling might be about sex of a conversation y'all had. Then the next negative feeling might be about what that person may have went through. And you may feel like, this ain't something I would go through. So I don't, I don't even want to add to this person's conversation or something like that. But you may add to it for the sake of conversating with them because this is somebody you're conversating with at the time. Things like that. Those moments. Right there. Like, right, that, those, pin that down. Okay, one, you know what I'm saying? That's one. Then, boom, he made me feel like this, or she made me feel like this again. And two, boom. Then, sit back and decipher each uh, conversation that you wrote down that made you feel that way. One may have made you feel negatively this way. One may have made you feel negatively that way. And in that way, you could kind of process. You could, you could start, once you get more and more into it, you could start to see, you could start to know what people is actually talking about talking about to other people about you you can kind of start to under you can you can start to see it it, it starts to be like a visual you can start to see like you can as soon as this person walk before they even say anything you can look on their face and and automatically know i know what this person was talking about behind my back about already or i know what this person about to say already i know where this person energy is at already because it, it is you will start to see a pattern and once you start to do this every day with every person, you will start to see similar conversations they bring up, similar things, similar things that make them stressed out. Similar. It's like, it's going to be like, damn, you're going to be like, so this is what attacking me. So if you are a person who know thyself, then you are the God of your realm. So you are the controller. So if these people don't know thyself, then they're basically servants in your realm of reality. So they should participate in your reality because your reality is the supreme reality compared to theirs if you are consciously and subconsciously aware of yourself. So if you are in a person's life as the enlightener, as the one who's enlightening, then you are the supreme existence. So you are supposed to act that way. So if a person who are not acting according like or servant like, now I hate to say, use the word servant, but if you part of my soul group, we get into this now. These motherfuckers are servants. And you're going to have to look at it that way. You know what I'm saying? Because if they're not consciously aware and you are the one, the role that they have to look at to actually to be an example of enlightening themselves and actually knowing themselves, then you are the role. You are the light. You are the headship. So you are the one that they, they should follow. Now, when I say uh, that don't mean that don't mean an actual servant to you like like God in that kind of way in Jesus way what this actually means is uh, they actually should accord accord themselves into how you should see things in realm of reality so if you see anything that they're doing that you don't like you should be able to speak up on it and change it and if these people are not willing to apply then these people need to get rid of themselves out of your realm of reality or your sphere of reality and never come fucking back because if they was meant to be there then they would they would be there and get and get a light on your same frequency you see what I'm saying? So that's the difference right there, and that's what we need to be doing right now. Aligning ourselves with people we, we truly need to be aligning ourselves with and disassociating ourselves with people that we don't need to be. Now, when I say this, like I said, on a lower scale, uh, you have to start off with the actual people. Now, once you start off with actual people, it becomes a situation where uh, where you start to separate your, yourself from certain people in your life because of their, their, their carrying certain energies and spirits. And if you had a low vibrational scale of just lo learning about yourself, you're going to be surrounded by a lot of people who don't know that self. So it's important that the first the first starts to these type of things and to get things and get the ball rolling is, is to start detaching yourself from a lot of energy vampires and a lot of ticks and people that's around you that may be carrying a lot of these energies that you're going to write down in this notebook and stuff like that uh now is the time to do that now the second stage once you elevate from that stage this is a higher level um and more of a level i like to talk about is more um now you don't you can't even look at this you're, you're not consciously in that lower realm of reality no more so you can see things from a higher perspective so now in this case it's going to be harder for certain beings to affect you because you know yourself so now they're going to come to you as in the spirits themselves so now it's at this at this level once you reach the actual detaching from people and actually getting into your world and, and living accordingly the way aligned uh, off the back you're going to be placed in situations where people are going to be going out your life and people are going to be coming in your life that's more in alignment once you even start living according to that that's the first process now the, the more enlightened higher aspect to that now is what I'm talking about now is